That morning, early, Job had gone alone with sheep and knife at dawn to make his sacrifice. And while he prayed, God put his heart on trial. O man of God, today again you seek the precious lives of ten young souls. Now tell me with your heart, would you be willing, Job, to part with all your children If in my deep counsel I should judge that by such severing more good would be, and you would know far more of me? Job trembled at the voice and fell before the bleeding lamb. Compel me not, O God, to make this choice between the wisdom of your voice and these ten treasures of my life. Far better I should take this knife and mingle lamb's blood with my own than put my children on this stone. O God, have mercy on my seed. I yield to what you have decreed. The servants waited now to see what Job would do and how he might deal with his God. At last he rose and took a knife and passed it like a razor over all his silver head and tore his shawl and robe and fell face down upon the ground and lay there till the dawn. The servants knelt by him in fright and heard him whisper through the night, I came with nothing from the womb, I go with nothing to the tomb. God gave me children freely. Then he took them to himself again. At last I taste the bitter rod, my wise and ever-blessed God. And now come broken to the cross where Christ embraced all human loss. And let us bow before the throne of God, who gives and takes his own and promises whatever toll he takes to satisfy our soul. Come, learn the lesson of the rod, the treasure that we have in God. He is not poor nor much enticed, who loses everything but Christ. Do you think God made you so sick? She drew her breath and swallowed hard. I know you'd like to think that there's a foe that hurts and God that heals. And that would not be wrong. But I have sat and pondered months in pain to see if that is true, if misery is Satan's work and happiness is God's. Jemima... We must bless the Lord for all that's good and bad. But, Papa, God's not mean or mad. He's not our enemy. He's kind and gentle, isn't He? Your mind is right, Jemima, but it's small. He's gentle, kind, but that's not all. I have some friends who thought they knew the mind of God and that their view of tenderness exhausted God's and that severity and rods could only be explained with blame to vindicate His holy name. So you think it was God who made you sick? I think God never laid aside the reins that lie against the neck of Satan nor unfenced his pen to run at liberty, but only by the Lord's decree. So you think God was kind to make you sick? Jemima asked. And take away your health and all your sons and friends and daughters, all the ones you loved? Jemima, what I think is this. The Lord has made me drink the cup of His severity that He might kindly show to me what I would be when only He remains in my calamity. Unkindly, 
He has kindly shown that he was not my hope alone.